soccer star. While I was very young, I used to be a goalkeeper and I grew up as a goalkeeper. So in 1980-81, Shaka Zulu was to come on screen and 4,000 guys were auditioned just for the lead part, Shaka. I wasn't interested because I was so glued to my sport. I thought acting was a soft thing, you know, having never done it before. Well, from those 4,000 guys, I was the last one and I was the chosen one. So today, I'm just an actor. Having started with Shaka Zulu, I've done so many other movies and some television series as well. I am a Zulu, all right, and Shaka's history is passed from generation to generation, apart from going to school and learning, you know, reading about it in the books. But we, you know, as we grew up with it, we knew exactly what Shaka was and he was the leader, he was the builder of the black nation, and it went on and on. So when I was chosen to portray the part, having never acted before, as I told you, it was a challenge. I said, Henry, how are you going to handle this one? Because it's you against the whole world. If you do it very well, it will be good for South Africa. If you do it very well again, it will be good for the whole world to know that you black people have history. So I had to get the script first, read it, apart from knowing Shaka's history. So I went through the book, uh, the script. Oh, the first thing that impressed me was that Shaka didn't kill not even one white person. Oh, so I said, this is going to be good. So I took part in it. Because he was the builder of the nation who never believed in killing people that were not uh, bad people. If you were good to Shaka, he would give you the land, cattle, and everything. That is what he did to the first settlers in Natal. So that's why I was happy to take part, but it was a challenge every day. When I woke up, <laughs> we said, Henry, today you're going to do this scene. How are you going to do it? Having never had any speech and drama training before that, but I had to do it myself, and I always imagined that if an actor does this, he can be a good actor apart from the training. That is how I succeeded, I think. That's right. That's right. Well, the stage Shaka was a different version to the miniseries Shaka that people saw. That happened as well because they were also looking for Shaka. It was difficult for them to get someone who, who would look like Shaka. I didn't know that I looked like, like, like Shaka. In that 
Shaka Zulu cast, which was a stage cast, they had this lady by the name of Daphne. She's a TV representer now. She was in the cast and she said, look, for two years we've been practicing our lines. We know our lines inside out. And you can't still get the right guy to portray the part. There's only one guy who can do it, and that is Henry. Black Cat, that's my nickname in soccer. So the playwright approached me, Mr. Hartley Stewart, who is late now, unfortunately. He approached me, but I wasn't interested. But he kept on coming back at me, and I, one day I said to him, OK, when the soccer season is closed, just come and pick me up so that we can have a go at it. And that was it. When he let me into the rehearsal room and those people were there, they all said, please, Henry, don't let us down. You are the only one that can portray the part of Shaga. They needed the physique, voice, height, you name it. So I started on stage as Shaka, not knowing that later on I was going to be the big Shaga on the screen. And I'm happy it all happened that way.